Bon après-midi, belle personne. Bienvenue à Pop Casa et bienvenue au Moins de la Mort. Whoa. <laughs> I really had to say that in French. I mean, it's not called the language of love for no reason. But of course, for my Anglophone peeps, welcome to Pop Casa and welcome to the month of love. And the show today, as usual, I've got interesting stories for you. And I'm definitely looking forward to the great conversations I'm going to have with my guests. But don't worry, I will introduce you to them when I get back. My name is Sean Bankale and you're watching Pop Casa. Don't twitch an eyelid. New Central TV, Africa's number one storyteller, has come with the best of both worlds. With a combination of news app and live TV, we ensure that you keep track of the latest headlines, breaking news, and in-depth analysis from professional journalists from around the continent. Download the New Central TV app on Android and iOS and get started today. Don't forget to follow us on New Central's social media platforms. New Central, Africa first. Yes, you're watching Popcasa. Joining me on the show today is Trust Roy. He is a producer over here at New Central. And of course, he's one of the entertainment, um, what now? Sweet cabinet members. <laughs> <laughs> How are you this evening? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome you to the great. show. I look oh, great. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I'm also joined by a blogger. Her name is Karina. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Oh, look at you, looking all humble <laughs> and stuff. All right, let's get right into it. So the arrest of some teenagers that were caught burning a young girl's severed head has continued to generate comments and controversy. The girl has been identified as the girlfriend to one of the boys. The crime has sparked outrage on social media and reignited conversations about young people on an inordinate quest for riches. There have been comments from celebrities and more. Now the public relations officer for the Nigeria Police Force, Ogun State Command, has sort of pointed the finger at Nollywood, which is Nigeria's massively popular film industry. Abimbola Oyeyemi said, Nollywood should stop promoting ritual killings for wealth in their movies. He also said actors and the movie censors board have a lot to do to regulate the type of films they produce because some of them the ritual suspects learn from the movies. He also had some advice for religious bodies, urging them to desist from preaching only about prosperity and focus more on morality. He made his call while parading the 18-year-old man, Saliu Majakudumi, who beheaded his girlfriend for money rituals in Ogun State. In his words, this can only be described as a superlative degree of callousness. It is despicable and barbaric at this time for somebody to still have it in mind that money can be made if he sacrifices the life of a fellow human being. More so, what is it that teenagers want to use the money for that will lead them to this type of heinous crime? It is still beyond the comprehension of a normal human being. I want to say that many parents are failed in their responsibilities. This is a result of bad parenting. It is a result of complete failure of parental responsibility. Because if this thing has not been encouraged by the parents, I do not believe that any properly brought up child will want to embark on this type of criminality. End of quote. But he is not the only one that has pointed fingers at Nollywood Shah. You remember yeah, a few weeks ago, we, we had that, that tweet yeah. from Sakodie where he said exactly. what he said. All right, so my first question is this. Does Nollywood have to blame? Do we have to blame Nollywood? Do they have some part of the blame on this conversation? I think no. Nollywood, hmm. Nollywood has... Is there an outright no for me? Yeah, <laughs> no. They have little part to play in it because obviously Nollywood makes movies and in those movies they have, they tell their stories and it also has like... You know, it teaches you like what's wrong and what's bad. It doesn't just actually tell you to go and do each other or anything. Mm. But if, you, if you see a movie that has <laughs> the likes of um, one of the Yule Dochi and the rest of them, and they do the whole ritual thing, it also shows you the bad side of it. Like, it shows you like a disadvantage, you know, why you shouldn't do it. It shows their morals behind mm. this movie. So you can't just say, I think it's, it's it, everything like from society. I, see, I, I feel like okay. if, if only Nollywood had accepted to, you know, Tell us, tell better stories. Mm. We'll not be having this conversation. Okay. So for the longest time, Nollywood was all about, mm. you know, doing in some kind of ja so fetish, a lot of fetish things. For the longest time, yes. For the so many years time. ago, so, yes. Uh, uh, the fact that they are even now doing some things that are even better now is is kind of like what they have done before has reinforced the stereotype that mm. Nollywood is, this is, who they know, are. This is what Nollywood mm. is about. But mm. I think that's that's a wrong assumption. Mm. People people get to choose what they want to do. They get to learn what they want to exactly. learn from anybody. So we shouldn't pin it on Nollywood. We can't, we can't exactly pin it on Nollywood. We but this, these things are seen in movies. Okay, for example, Money Eyes. Did they do the thing on your, <laughs> No, they did not. Eyes? But they taught people how to go inside banks and rob and all of that. So, so it's now, not just Nollywood then. So you disagree with the police public relations? Yeah, I disagree with him. That's all right, moving on. <laughs> why do you think we are seeing young people these days getting involved in stuff like this? Why, why, why do you? Why? Unnecessary pressure. From 
everything, everything. society, social media, you have celebrities showing their lifestyles off on social media. People have like, you know, Wait, it's just wait, pleasure, wait. Uh, uh, let, let, let me break it down. So a celebrity is living his lifestyle, his genuine lifestyle, and he's posting it on social media. And then a 17-year-old boy is pressured. See, we need to understand that there's something called influence. And okay. influence is something that's really powerful. So anybody can be influenced by anything. Right. Depends on your state of your mind. Mm. But what I want you to understand is like, you see these people that are getting influenced by what people are doing on social media, uh, supposedly affu uh, affluent people are doing on social media, they, 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 I would say, like, they're feeble minded, they're very impressionable. So, like, whatever these people are doing, I and the funny thing is that they have, they have nothing, less than nothing to write them about, or mm. like, they don't, they are not working, they don't have handwork, you're That's not your skillful, yeah. you're not, you're not employable, they're not offering and, anything, uh, they're not offering everything, anything. I just want to, from here, go to point, it doesn't very work quickly. That way. Okay, so let me have. What not, do you have to not say? Not everybody. There are people who have tried different things, and the way our society is, there's no, there's no job anywhere. And even if you see, yeah, that's you know, true. so there are a lot of things, a lot of factors. You just blame. Karina, seventeen. <laughs> seventeen. <laughs> yeah. Do you get my point? Yeah. yeah. Teenagers. Oh, nineteen. Oh, Twenty. Oh, yeah, Right? I didn't, I didn't school. Thank exactly. you. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't school. Is the so, educational, is the educational system in Nigeria? Is, is so are we, are we going to blame okay. it now on like the government for not everything, creating everything? Everything plays the, a role. A lot role of people, there are lots to blame, Sha, but okay. you decide to go and kill but someone. But you, you, you you're, say you're it's so not Hollywood. Yeah. Okay, so do you really think we are underestimating the power of forms of media, such as movies and music and books? I think right I think, now, I think we no, are. right. I think I, I agree think with are. you. We are. So for example, they have a lot of influence on us. Lot. That's why you mentioned celebrities and social media, not part of media. So movies, yeah. music, and they everything. everything. They have everything. influence yes. on all of us. Mm. So what's our take home to people outside there? What tell talk to your people? Don't, don't allow yourself to be impressionable now. Media, like, don't and, be yeah, but a lot of things on social media are fake. Yeah, social media is you. social media is like. Is an Radio, organized belief. Mm. Did you get so mm. people are showing what ah. what they want you to see basically. They exactly. Show you they hire some things. They show things. you the, they show you the oh, good part oh, of life. They don't show you the, the, their struggles sad, basically. Yeah. Okay, so Nigerian blogger and entrepreneur Nogul Ibwe has point blank blamed the society for not questioning wealth, thereby aiding money rituals. Mm. He tweeted. Every day, we are on different pages of people we know that they cannot afford certain things, and we are shouting, "God win!" Then we come here to act surprised that people are doing evil to actually belong. Our society does not question the source of anything. Yeah. People will post risk kits in the year and then post the house they just bought and then the next thing they appear in two movies and then they post new me, new yeah, house. Yeah, the thing is to celebrate all types of questionable wealth. That's what Noble Igwe said. The church will take a donation from anyone with money. The village will crown anyone with money. No questions asked. Families don't ask their children how they make their money and some do not even care. It's the society that faced this monster. Yeah. Words from Noble Igwe. Okay. So do you agree with him? Is the society turning a blind eye to the source of wealth gradually in this century, in this day and age? Because I can't really work out the modalities we need to start yes. policing everybody's source of wealth. Yes, society there are turning, genuinely society, wealthy society, people. Society, society is turning a blind eye. Mm. Because you would find, like, as he, as he said, I mean, you go to a club or you're somewhere's lavishing money and you're looking at this person like, oh, my, you don't look like... And the, some people will not give you the excuse that more is Bitcoin or they are doing some kind of form of cryptocurrency or they are doing something. But you obviously you're looking at this person. I, your mother from the house do not see you. Like so, and sometimes we know these people. Mm. They are they are people who've done stuff. We know them. We know their rich house. Okay, so let's bring it down. Let's bring it home. Let's bring it home. Karina, personally, personally, oh. have you ever felt the pressure to glorify or look away or make excuses for those who obviously make fraudulent money? For example, there's someone in your streets that you know Talk that true, this, money, this Talk money is not genuine money. But somehow, because he has that money and everybody rates him, you rate him too. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Do you get the point? Everybody no. tends to admire and rate people that have money, money. even yeah. though we know their money yes, is not genuine. Yes, mm. it's, it's questionable. Have you? Sometimes, sometimes, maybe, right? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, so it's what yeah. human beings will naturally do. Our instinct just wants to appreciate, appreciate and love those that have money. Yeah. And then you find on social media when you see someone that you know that this person or your God tells you this person's money is not legit, and then you start talking about it. The next thing, somebody else is policing you. Like a lot of people to do what they want to do, and who are you to ask them how they got their source of income? But these are the things that society is supposed to help checkmate because most of these people, are, you know, have ill-gotten wealth. Mm. At the same time, they are lavishing it. They are making young people. They're pressuring young people. He talked about clubs. 
Yes. Clubs and clubs, like that's like the biggest form of cruise now. If you buy <laughs> caskets, you buy the so, you know. <laughs> See, that is one of the highest pressure for young men in Africa. And if you are not honest. careful, if you are not careful, you would allow these things that you see on yeah. social media, Influence. in movies, Influence. in mu music videos, you yeah. would allow them to pressure. But the truth is, some of these things are just make believe. They are just trying to be fine, Healing make it look perfect, so that they can win awards. They are not genuine. Even um, yeah. Maserati, Olakira that sang Maserati, did not have a Maserati. Exactly. But he used it for his music video. So Boy, please, yeah. cut down <laughs> on the pressure, guys. <laughs> All right, so I know this is a subject that we could go on and on and on about, but I'm sure it won't be the last that we're hearing of it. I'm very sure. It is very obvious that a day of reckoning is coming for our yeah. society. Very soon. All right, guys, we'll take a break here. There's more on Popkasa. New Central TV, Africa's number one storyteller, has come with the best of both worlds. With a combination of news app and live TV, we ensure that you keep track of the latest headlines, breaking news, and in-depth analysis from professional journalists from around the continent. Download the New Central TV app on Android and iOS and get started today. Don't forget to follow us on New Central's social media platforms. New Central, Africa first. You're still watching Popcaster. Now, the month of love is here, but um, people are getting served different types of breakfast, Nisha. American singer Rihanna's pregnancy announcement broke the internet earlier in the week, and she and her partner, rapper ASAP Rocky, have received lots of awes and God wins. Is she married and all of that? Now, this brings me to the tea in this story. Canadian rapper Drake, who is allegedly an ex to Rihanna, has unfollowed both Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. There have always been unconfirmed reports that Drake and Rihanna were at some point an item. However, the music stars have always, always denied the rumors that they dated. Well, I am of the opinion that the unfollowing happened because of this. Let's see how some others see it. Interestingly now, Drake later refollowed ASAP Rocky on Instagram. Let's knock it ourselves. Drake has basically written it in his music, how in love he is. He has been with Rihanna for several years. And that brings me to this question. Assuming that Rihanna and Drake are actually exes, he has a baby mama, she has moved on, and he as well, you know, several times he has attempted to move on. Do you think this is enough for him to actually unfollow a whole Riri? No, I think, I think, I think it's childish. Oh. Yeah, because I feel like you have, you have a baby mama, you have a child, she has moved on. Obviously, she didn't unfollow you when you had yours. I don't know why you're unfollowing her now. She's moving on with her life. I mean, why, follow, on. why unfollow her now that you make, found out that she's pregnant? It doesn't make any sense. What's your take, Trust? As far as one side of my brain is saying, this is, this is cruise. <laughs> I like the fact that you said one side of your brain. <laughs> one side of my brain is saying, this is cruise. I don't know yes. like this is petty. Mm. Like, you get, so. I feel like you're just catching crews because yeah, of the whole let's, trend. Let it's trending now. Let people talk. But if, if you think about it, there's a video that went online on social media. It was it was viral. It was yes. like a healthy troll video. Yes, <laughs> I saw it. And I think that, that video just, you know, made... Uh, it, it's something that might affect the man's mental health, if mm. you ask me. <laughs> okay, so am I just being a hopeless romantic? Or do you think that um, Rihanna was like one half, one half of Drake's heart and then... He has been thinking of ways to win her back since. How? You know, they were in love. Oh. You know, he used her name in his lyrics. He sang I about her. You. Are you sure this is not an attempt to get her attention again? Dude, she's pregnant for someone else, too. Oops. Yes. Oh. She has moved on. She has a child. I'm very soon. I want to know that they're secretly married. So, you know, so you're people, they can do all this weird, weird stuff. They don't go right. married. Right, like, like Justin Bieber. Yeah. Okay, so it's not so secretive, yeah. anyways. I shall feel like it's a petty thing to do, Sha. I mean, on following ASAP Rocky, who you just might not have an issue with. Just but I heard he followed her back, Sha. Yeah. He, followed, he, followed, he followed ASAP back. But yes, not Rihanna. Rihanna. Not Rihanna. Not Rihanna. Right? I think, I mean, you don't have any issue with ASAP. And if I you were following know, him before, why unfollow him? I mean, Drake, I'll check, I'll check after now. Maybe he has followed them back again. Speaking of petty, let's talk about those that give gifts during a relationship and then ask for it in the event of a breakup. Yes, I'm talking true talk. Jennifer Douglas, the fourth wife of former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, has confirmed her divorce to him and also claimed that Atiku wants to collect an asset previously given to her. 
she said, and I quote, the matrimonial home in Asokoro which we reside in was gifted to me by him even before we moved into that home from a previous resident. Indeed, His Excellency caused his private secretary to process the deed of assignment documents for the house, which he did, and handed me the documents. When I asked him where will me and the kids stay when we come to Nigeria, he told me that since I am the one that asked for a divorce, I should find a place to stay, and subsequently, I moved out. Mm. Woo. Guys, tell me what you think. <laughs> so, there is a reason why something is called a gift. Right. Yeah. So, if you're gifting yeah, something to somebody, it, it, it's, it doesn't make any sense. Doesn't, doesn't so, it collects it back. Collect back. Collect and then you are an excellency, a Do former you vice president. Oh God, like, you are wealthy. And was, a whole house. It's not Kai collected back, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Was, ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's not Kai like, collected back. It's a whole house. Atiku has properties. All yeah. around Nigeria, right. Africa, like, why, even. Why so, what one? is one house that he cannot? I feel like it's just, just petty. Being petty. Just be petty. Oh, more people do petty. <laughs> you follow your eggs. Collect house. Okay, so let's bring it home. Let's bring it home. <laughs> Harry, Hina. What's the pettiest thing you have done after a breakup? Ah, oh God. Oh, <laughs> let's, go, let's, go, let's move on. What's the pettiest thing you have done after a breakup? Maybe I'm following the person. Maybe I'm following the person. So That's the pettiest thing. Have you ever collected the gift back? No. Ah. I like <laughs> you would never no, why it's, it's a gift it's a gift. okay so let me paint a scenario yeah you save up money say one million era you buy a gift for your ex you guys break up he broke up with you will you collect it back no oh look at you <laughs> <Six years laughs> <and stop. laughs> so what's the pettiest thing you have done after a breakup i'm not sure i've done a petty thing after a breakup but Aww. i know I've, I've really done petty things ah. I cannot, there are plenty, so <laughs> I cannot think I of the one. It depends on the situation, the circumstances ah, behind the breakup. Something is hitting my brain. I've, I've really done something petty, very, very petty. I just can't Did you mess up our room? Uh, no, that's, that's, that's pretty true. Now, moving on to the each Twitter user at, at DOA got us talking this week with a short story. She tweeted, you've been taking employment for two years, then I found you something and you wait until after everything is sealed. To announce that you must be allowed to attend choir practice on Fridays, you would close at 12 noon on Fridays because choir practice runs for four hours. Can't you go to choir practice on Saturday? You say, our practice is actually on Fridays and Saturdays. I cannot miss anyone. <laughs> Le Mao. And then she ends it with, Stop. And then that means be singing on for your savior. Love so and light. I, I, I don't, I, where, where I have a problem with this yeah. is, you had no employment for the longest time. For the longest so time. So you're, you're, you're in communications with the HRO of the company. company. And you guys are talking. You don't tell the HRO that, okay, on Fridays we'll have fellowship or on, on uh, Sundays we'll have moderating Sundays. Or, and you waited for the whole employment to be done. And right. then you now raise that. Are you daft me? And that doesn't make any sense. How would you feel if this happens to you, Karina? I will suck you. <laughs> I should have. I, like, I, I I'll like try sucking. Nigerians are too overly religious. Like that. You need to separate Religion. religion from your personal businesses. Mm. So I think that I would just suck you. Like don't mix, don't mess my business like that. Mm. Yeah. All right. So a certain Atmuyiwa replied and said, "God do not give you a job that will take you away from Him. <laughs> Any job that doesn't give you time for God is from the devil." I sure this guy, that Atmuyiwa oh is not Mommy Joe's assistant <laughs> here because I don't like social media handler. Oh my God, this video thing is a cancer. Right? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Okay, first all, so, right. First, first of all, baby mm. Jesus and daddy knows that you need a job. You so, need, he knows. Yeah, so if you got something, you just got to create time. For okay, so wait, 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 wait. There's a part of the Bible that says that you should give yourself to God. You should, I mean, if God has called you, you should sacrifice for the Lord. And then your church, because they want music to be perfect on Sunday, mm -hmm. they decided to make choir practice four hours on Friday. Then they should pay you. Mm, Wisdom! <laughs> 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 you <laughs> get it. <laughs> you should pay you now. They should so pay you. Know, you. You're, 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 or you don't do nine to five. Don't you do, do business five. so that but you have time. Just, see, the problem here is you not communicating with the company before you assume the position of the job that you have certain engagements. And you were pressuring them, so making you them feel like you need this job, yeah, you need exactly. this job. Exactly. So, they not give you the job. So is it the company that wants to lose at your church? <laughs> Because they are paying you for your time oh as well. Oh my God, a lot of wisdom being dispensed over here. <laughs> that's, that's how we roll. That's how we roll. Okay, so what you're saying is if you need a job, make sure you have time for the company. If yeah, you don't you have, have time, time for the, the job, company, yeah. let your church pay you. If, yeah. you, if, you, if you want to do God, do God. If you want to mm. work, work. 
And on that note, we end things, guys. If you want to do God, do God. If you want to do work, do work. That's what's up. <laughs> <With some. laughs> oh, my God. It's been an interesting episode yes. with Trust and with Karina. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for Shane. having me. Yeah, you've been watching Popcasa over here on New Central. And we'll come your way again next week. Same time, same station. Don't miss it for anything in the world. Bye, guys.